Hi and welcome to our market rack. Well, there's been a lot of discussion about in the media the falling of auction clearance rates and the increase in rate rises. The drop of New South Wales property values estimated to be about 10%. However, in our market, we're actually seeing the property market remain stable. A good number of buyers coming through and buyer confidence remaining strong. While there has been a reduction in the volume of buyers, there continues to be some good commitment from the buyers. Many of the existing buyers are trying to secure a home before the expiration of their home loan approvals. As the banks are starting to re-rate some of the home loans as a result of their ability coming to dropping in borrowing capacity. So if you are thinking of selling, now's the time to do so. You will more likely see less buyers, but the ability to spend more. Once banks start re-rating, there will be a reduction and with the increase of rate rises, that will continue to have an impact. If you are considering the possibility of selling with the anticipation of the new financial year, especially for investors, I'd suggest to come to market now. You see, it takes about two weeks to prepare your home to come to market, approximately two weeks to secure a buyer, and you're more than likely to fall into the new financial year straight off that. However, if by any chance you do come to an agreement with a buyer who wishes to buy your home before the end of the financial year, you can always have a discussion about making sure the sale happens on a particular date and then reducing the settlement to make sure that the buyer isn't impacted. They can still buy and move into their home. You as a seller can still take advantage of the financial benefits falling into the new financial year. If you'd like to discuss this further, we've got a strategy that can help you. Please feel free to call us. The apartment market, unfortunately, is continuing to soften. Financial reports that the gap between homes and apartments is approximately 70%. With the continuing increase in regards to the volume of apartments currently being built, along the existing apartments available for sale, the market continues to struggle. As for rent, we're seeing an increasing demand on the prospective tenants with regards to homes. This is seeing an increase significantly. Even apartments are enjoying some of the benefits now of the market going up from a rental perspective. However, as a landlord, it's crucial to understand if you are trying to increase the tenant's rent, do not get too greedy and go too high. Sometimes keeping the tenant in there and being $10 or $15 less is the best thing you can do. What I normally suggest is stay with the devil you know than the devil you don't. You may see some long-term benefits. However, if you need any advice from there, speak to us or your agent at the moment. We'd love to help you from a real estate perspective. As always, if there's anything we can do, helping you towards a better place, please feel free to call us. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you out and about soon.